What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today we're gonna check out a few different things from Myonix. They're kind of switching it up and giving you guys some different colors for your Myonix products. I'm sure you're familiar with the Myonix Caster. That is like one of the best selling gaming mice out there. It's extremely nice, but it was only available in black. Now they're giving you guys the option to switch it up and add some color to your gaming gear and your setup. So today we're going to check out their new keyboard, the Myonix Way, the Myonix Caster in an ice cream kind of teal color, and their new shark fin gray. We also have matching keycaps for them and a wrist rest. I was a big fan of the black Myonix Caster, but this time I wanted to pick it up in their shark fin gray in that light bluish ice cream color. They also do have it available in a frosting color, which is kind of like a pink, and a yellow french fry color if you want to have yellow. Unfortunately, there are no white colors available. Kind of a bummer. So the point is here, they're selling these different products so you can match it all together in your setup. We'll take a closer look at the way in a minute, but with these keycaps here, they want you to know, match your keycap set to your mouse. I'm not gonna do really a review of the caster because I've done one before when it first came out a few years ago. It's essentially the same mouse, you know, it has the same sensor, just now available in different colors for you, but there is no LED lights and there's no RGB lighting in these units. I guess the argument there is if you would need those RGB lights, it would be to, again, match to your setup's color, but with these new colors of the mouse itself, you're not gonna really need that this time around. So if you're sitting there listening to this, just thinking, okay, but what's the point? You know, as the host of Room Tour Project, I obviously see a lot of setups every single day. And the one thing that I stress on the show is that people are starting to catch on is matching everything, making it all look good, having a certain aesthetic that you like, and in the end, when you have, you know, a red keyboard, a red mouse, you know, maybe even a red mouse pad or some red LED lights, when it all matches together, your setup just looks 10 times nicer and it all just gels very nicely. So that's their emphasis here. If you want to buy a pink mouse, well, guess what? You can also buy their pink keycaps. The keycaps here, by the way, are very, very high quality. I'm loving this keycap set. The Maddox Way keyboard comes with these gray keycaps by default, but since I have the ice cream mouse, I also picked up the ice cream keycaps. What's really awesome is they come with a few different layouts included in the keycap set. So you know for US, UK, and a few extra ones. It's an ABS plastic with a protective coating and they feel really nice when typing or gaming on them. It's like a very, very soft kind of rubber, but they're not. Definitely a big fan of these. But check out the new Way keyboard. This is actually pretty interesting. It's Myonix's first kind of, you know, stab at the market of putting out a gaming keyboard. And for the most part, they did everything really nice. The RGB lighting here is different from the pack. It's nice and subtle, and it has these much lighter, more calming colors. They're not overly bright or saturated. Like I said, they're, it's a nice calming wave. They do have some different presets on the keyboard, so you can switch up the lighting and the color effects and stuff like that, from like pulse lighting, wave, all that good stuff you would find on other keyboards. When you have some lighter keycaps on there, it really adds a nice extra glow to it. The keyboard itself is very solid. It's primarily metal, absolutely zero flex, which is nice. We don't have any rubber feet on the bottom or anything like that, but the entire bottom of the keyboard is a rubber pad. So you're not gonna have to worry about this thing, you know, sliding around on your desktop. My unit has these Cherry MX Red switches inside. I'm not gonna do a sound test for you because I've done one for these switches about 100 different times on this channel. And as far as I know, these cherry red switches are the only ones available in this keyboard. Not a bad choice, folks. I know a lot of gamers do use red, so the fact they're integrated in here proves, number one, the quality of this, and that they're gonna last for a long time. So in the end, the point of this video was to just showcase the new splashes of color Bionics is adding. But if you want me to go on a little rant here, I, ha I have to say this. The keyboard, the Myonix Way, comes in at $150, which is just way too much money. That is definitely a steep price point for them to dive in on for their first launch of a keyboard. Yes, I do like it. I think it's a really nice and solid keyboard, but that price is way too expensive considering even the competition out there with Razer and Corsair. That's way too much money. Um, additionally, the Monox Caster mouse in these new colors is $59.99, when the original black caster with the RGB LED lights right now is $49.99. Also very confusing. And then what's also kind of a, an upside here is those keycap sets. They're very, very high quality, very nice keycaps here. You get the different layouts and stuff. The keycap sets they're selling are $39.99. That is a great price considering some of the other keycap sets out there, different companies charge around 60 and upward for their keycap sets. So they definitely nailed it here for the keycaps. But that's kind of around it. I like the direction my is going, don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of the whole emphasis of buying, you know, different matching products. You know, buy the keycaps, it's gonna match your mouse. Because I like that, matching your setup is a great point here. So I like that they're kind of branching out, 
putting out different colors. But like I said, you gotta tone it down with the price. And for one thing, I don't see a lot of people buying yellow. The french fry color definitely leaves me scratching my head. That's just an odd color choice. I would have loved, like I said earlier, to see a white variant. You know, give me some nice white keycaps and a white Miles caster. I would buy that this instant right now because I would love to match those white products to my setup. And you know, uh, Razer just put out their whole new, what is it, like the alloy lineup, or whatever, where they're the Black Widow Chroma, the Lance Head Mouse, and the Kraken headset is all in this new white color. So I would have loved to see Myonix maybe switch out the pink or the yellow for a nice white color. So that's gonna pretty much wrap it up, guys. It's they're in the end, they're still great products, just kind of pricey and kind of confusing. I wish I wish they would kind of learn from this and go on, but don't stop. I like the direction you're going. If you want to check out any of this stuff, guys, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.